Hey, what's up guys? Thank you for clicking on this video. This is I Sith Kills, otherwise known as Nick. And this is going to be kind of a short review of episode 4 of She-Hulk. And the reason why is because I got work in like 15 minutes, so it's going to be really quick. Um, my initial thoughts, just to let you know, I kind of go over it. Um, the last two episodes, didn't really like too much. They kind of, you know, hit the woke meter by like a thousand percent. The last couple episodes. Uh, episode 2 wasn't too bad because I think they, you know, added in the family and all that stuff. And kind of made Jen a little bit more likable for that episode. This episode um, has a lot of weird courtroom stuff. Like, the writers of the show does not know how to write courtroom dramas. Or comedies for that matter. Um, Basically, there's a character that got introduced in the episode called Donnie Blaze, and I looked him up, um, and it says that he actually was like the third Ghost Rider or something like that, but then Jennifer Gow said that he's not Ghost Rider, that he's just a magician that spent some time in Kamatosh and knows some magic. So, I don't know. I mean, it would have been cool, you know, to have this little cameo of Ghost Rider. I kind of feel like it's it's another boner joke, kind of like what they did with uh, WandaVision uh, with Quicksilver. And, yeah, I'm kind of over that, you know. Like, if you're going to tease something, let it be the something that you're meaning to tease, not like this misdirect. Anyway, so Donnie Blaze, he does this magic show, and he gets this guest in the uh, audience called Madison, and Madison, you know, throughout the whole episode seems to be drunk. She did have some, like, nice parts with Wong, but she ends up, you know, volunteering for this trick. Donnie opens up this portal. She goes into the portal, somehow ends up at Wong's. Wong's, I kind of did like this one. Wong's actually watching the Sopranos. You know, she hears the intro to Sopranos. And Madison gets teleported into while he's watching the episode kind of kills some plot lines of the show for him, which I kind of got a kick out of. Um, yeah, um, also, Donnie, another stupid thing about this episode, too, is that, you know, uh, Wong was so upset about, you know, Donnie teleporting that girl and using magic, you know, and he's not supposed to because he's not in Kamatosh. So he sues Donnie, to stop using magic and the court scene plays so dumb basically the court decides to um grant donnie the right to still continue magic and she'll make her decision in like two weeks or something like that so he continues with, with his magic um and then in this scene you know by the way madison should not be able to be a witness while she's intox intoxicated but hey you know a list slide for comedy but at the same time I mean the whole show just played off I mean especially in this episode silly like a little bit of Thor and Love Love and Thunder kind of and I don't I think that's pretty much what they're going for now in the Marvel Cinematic Universe they're pretty much going for a live action cartoon you know which is pretty much what it seems like uh, in this episode you know she well she's feeling lonely so she wants to date she goes through a bunch of dates, a bunch of guys, typical, you know, guys that women don't want. Um, assholes are mainly douchebags, you know. So she meets this guy and, you know, says that uh, she is, he doesn't want to talk about himself. You know, he just wants to ask her questions and, you know, that, that works for her. So they sleep together. The next morning she turns back into Jen, the guy that she slept with didn't realize that she turns back to Jen for some reason and then kind of got grossed out and left. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, this episode was a was definitely a mess. Um it's really hard to uh to watch these uh to watch these episodes to be honest. I don't know who this is made for, but it's definitely not made for me. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I, the only reason why I'm hanging on is I, I'm curious to see what's going to happen with Hulk. You know, if, are they going to have any more teasers in this episode or in the season about Planet Hulk? Um, I am. I do like seeing Wong on screen, but there's really nothing else. I mean, I like Jen's family. The court, the courtroom, you know, scenes are just laughable. 
But I mean, you know, you can tell all the actors, and just to throw a positive spin on this, you can tell all the actors are, are doing a good job. I mean, they're they're working with what they got, and they're doing a good job with it. You know, it's just what they got as far as dialogue and as far as screens and you know plot line and how the story's progressing. It's not their fault. You know, it's it's the writers. But yeah, you know, there's there's a lot of videos out there. You know people talking about why couldn't they just use the comic book origins and the personality of She-Hulk in the comic books and that's what people fell in love with and I kind of got to agree with that like why do you have to change the characters that we've grown up to love ever since we were kids into something that's completely different and I understand you know changing characters to the modern times and stuff but sometimes modern is not all that good sometimes old-fashioned is better than modern so I don't know my initial thoughts um the woke meter, I think, has went up on this episode for sure, um, especially with the dating scenes and, um, you know, what the guy did after she slept with her. And I don't know. It was just, I don't know. I just want, I just want good storytelling. That's so hard to ask for. But anyways, guys, that's my initial thoughts on the on She-Hulk. I know it's a little bit fast, but... Uh, literally have to get to work pretty here uh get to work here pretty soon but i don't know i'm in episode five um we're already this episode marks halfway through the season and there's nothing really much happening just a lot of cringy storylines and cringy dialogue i think jen even in this episode told i forgot who she told it was either wong or the other magician, but they she said something about mansplaining again. I was just like, this is like probably the fourth or fifth time this has been mentioned in this series. I'm like, can we just leave the political, you know, ideology out of this, out of any show or movie? Can we just enjoy about the story and follow these characters with their struggle with everyday normal stuff that everyone goes through, not just 5% of the population that goes through it? So, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, I still have high hopes. You know, I I still love I still love Marvel. You know, I'm not this adaptation of Marvel, but I love Marvel in the past. And I'm, I'm hoping one day that we get back to that. And I don't know. We keep supporting shows and movies that we don't like. And it's going to keep going with it. You know what I mean? But it's kind of hard when there's no entertainment out there either. You know, to talk about. So, anyways, guys, uh, that's my thoughts. I was a little bit jarbled, so hopefully, you guys did enjoy the video. If you guys did enjoy the video, please hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll catch you in the next one.